Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing what's called a draw along. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to be drawing and talking about the process at the same time. This is not meant to be uh, perfect by any means or even anatomically correct. What we're doing is just giving more of uh, beginner drawers a way to landmark their drawing. So essentially that's all it is. So just follow along at your own pace and um, let's get into it. Okay, so like I was saying in the intro of the video, um, this is going to be a draw along. So, and it's, it's, I'm hoping it's not your typical how to draw a male superhero anatomy. Um, cause it's not anatomy. It's not anatomically superior or correct or anything like that. Um, sometimes I feel like when I watch a drawing video, a lot of people kind of take a similar approach. So, for instance, like, if we're going in and we're drawing the head, they'll do uh, what's called the ball and jaw. So, I mean, you, you can kind of guess the method. If you've been looking at, like, how to draw books, they'll draw a ball, and then they'll draw a jaw. Okay, which is fine. I just feel like a lot of people sort of follow the same path and really... What I was looking for that I couldn't find is somebody to just like, okay, do this, then do this, then do this, then do this, and then, you know, practice it, practice it, practice it, and the more you do it, the better it will get. So um, this isn't supposed to be anatomically correct. It's just supposed to be like something to get you going so that your characters start making sense. You have landmarks to look for. So over here when I was drawing, my approach is, and you guys can follow along, um, I would start here at the bottom and I would draw just a line going up. And then I would draw almost like a peace symbol. And again, this is not how you're supposed to do it. I mean, I have different ways for landmarking the face. I might do something like this. And then I almost make like, to me it looks almost like a, a medieval helmet. But this is starting to help me figure out where the brow is going to be, where the eyebrows are going to be how I should start to fit my eyes in there. And then I put a line down here and it starts to look a little bit more like a face. Then I can figure out where the lips need to go. I might need to bring this jaw down so that his lips aren't like like right on top of his jaw. So different little tricks like that. But that's the first thing I do is I draw a line and then I draw that piece symbol. Then I, I break it down to quadrants. So I just go down and in, out to the side and up. And ball and jaw is fine, but most skulls are a little bit edgier in comics to me. They appear to have more of an edge. So it's not this super smooth line. It kind of has a, a little bit of squareness to it. I'm over-exaggerating that for the sake of the video. Okay, next. Um, superheroes all have necks like professional wrestlers. So the neck, which should really be like closer to here is really going to be like right where the the jaw i've even seen it like right where the ear ties in so right where the jaw is i'm just going to go out and add two lines okay and then i'm going to jump down here and this would typically be like where your collarbones meet or your clavicle so from there i just draw a triangle out and again the more you draw the more you can say like okay once i connect these lines like, okay, it kind of looks like the top of a superhero head, so I'm, I'm all right with that. And then from here, what I'll do is I'll draw the peck shape. So I'll go down, kind of go out from this corner. And we're talking superheroes here, so massive, massive chest. Okay, hopefully you're able to follow along so far. Keeping everything wide and light. Just sketching the lines in, don't get aggressive and I had coffee so it looks like I'm shaking all over the place all right so I've got my pec muscles in I view this whole section as like almost like football pads so basically that's what I imagine when I do like sh the shoulders and everything is you could uh, why well, I, I like to be closer to here you could make it like very square and I guess the idea of this is just to get some shapes in place so that your mind's eye 
can start making sense of it. That's really what sketching is, is you add a bunch of lines and then eventually your mind is like, okay, I like the way this one line looks. So that to me looks more like a superhero. Then after that, what I'm gonna do is it's, it almost looks like I'm drawing another head, but I am not. These are the beginnings of his superhero six pack. So this is gonna come down and then I'll start to curve it in. Okay, just bring a line up through the middle. You can split the abs if you want. Got your top and then the lower ones tend to be like, I mean, you can add an eight pack. It's not normal, but you can. And there's about where his navel is. Everybody's navel's in a different spot. So for me, I actually start adding the lats in next. So those are the big wing back muscles. Okay, and this guy is like ridiculously proportioned, but that's fine. You can scale it down. Draw on the sides. And then <laughs> from here, I'm gonna draw in like some superhero man panties. It really does just look like whitey tighties underwear. Bring it down. Okay. All right, now it's time to get onto the arms. So basically what I've learned about arms is like when I watched Dragon Ball Z when I was younger, everything was super pronounced. You know, like here would be a bicep and that bicep was its own island. <laughs> and then here was a tricep and it was its own island. And then the arm and then the elbow. And then you had, you know, this muscle too that might be like overly defined and just its own deal. Um, which, not that it was wrong, I think that was, like, their style, but, anyways, we'll get rid of that. Da, 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 da. And we're going to talk about how I view arms now. Okay, so, how I do the bicep and forearm. So, first and foremost, I drew a line here across, so, like, right about where the midsection of the body, where the navel's going to be, I'll draw a line. That's about where I want my elbows to land. Now, obviously here, his arms didn't do that. I don't know, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see if this makes sense. But generally around where the elbow bends, that's where the navel is gonna be. And where the hands end up is generally around halfway on the thigh, right? So you can divide it into two sections and that's where the hands are going to be when they're at rest. So this bicep, I'm gonna take it from the same area where the pec ties in and the shoulder muscle where the delt ties in. And then this bicep is gonna come down and you'll start to see how I drew biceps in the past was I made it like its own thing. But instead, I start to make this line from the forearm where it actually comes up and it starts to tie into the upper arm. So it's like your bicep tucks in between these two muscles here of the forearm and then I can start to bring that down. Let that make more sense. And then come up around here. Okay, and then once I get to this point, I'm just gonna make the back of the arm poke out a little bit to indicate the tricep, because the arm is extended, right? So this is long, because the bicep is used to contract the arm in, and then the tricep is used to contract the arm out. If that all makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, this bicep here. Go from around the underwear. Bring a line that wraps up and starts to turn into the tricep. Remember, it's tucked in between two muscles here. And a little swoop. Now swoop again. Go up and let the back of the arm poke out. Here's the tricep. Okay, and on some characters, muscles implied. So, like, you sometimes can't see all these lines. So this wouldn't be completely connected to the top, unless you have, like, this, like, super jacked character, right? So sometimes these lines don't finish, and that's all right. And a lot of this can be refined when we darken the lines. Then as far as the quads, so, again, when his hands finally come down, and you can just draw blocks here for hands, just as a reference point. Okay, so that's about halfway on the thigh. So now I know if I give that another half, then that's about how long the leg is gonna be. And what I'm gonna do is come from the center 
and bring that down. Now the reason I do this is because your butt is lower than certain other parts. <laughs> Try and keep this family friendly. Drop that down, come from the center. So actually, what you're seeing there is the bottom of the butt, and then this would be right about where the groin would be. So like sweep up into there. Now as far as like the knees and the calves and everything, we're not gonna get into feet in this video, but we'll do a circle here just to indicate the knee. Okay, so from here, once we've got the circles in, we can go ahead and drop a line down in there. Now as far as calves, like if you look at a calf straight on, like the bottom part of the leg, the inside of the calf is gonna be higher than the outside of the calf. So this is gonna be a lot shallower as far as that curve there. This is gonna be higher. Might be too high. Again, a lot of this is trial and error. And this is just meant to be a guide. So this might even be straight. I like to poke it out a little bit, especially because he's an ultra muscular character. Now, hopefully this can kind of give you a little bit of references like where the center of the arm should be around where the elbows are that's where the navel is where the hand rests at the sides generally around the middle of the thigh and then from there you guys can you can go in and tinker like if i want to start refining lines and maybe making this look and feel a little bit more re realistic i would just start sketching things in um to make it appear more like a finished character. So maybe I'll pop into a time lapse now since this video is sort of getting up there in minutes anyways. I'll do a time lapse and just sort of like concept something on top of him real quick, but you'll see how I don't follow this entire outline. I use it as reference and then I have my final design on top of that. All right, so that's the video guys. Again, this is not an anatomy video. It's a how to get started video because quite literally you just need to start. If you want to get better, however, you must look at anatomy and then that way you know where things properly go in order to make better constructions later in the future. Otherwise, I hope you guys had fun and you found this helpful. And uh, if you would like, you can subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and leave me a comment on what you would like help with next.